Hello everyone and welcome to Stratus Bytes, the only series of videos that explain networking concepts and technologies. My name is Victor. Let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about firewall sizing. The idea of this video is to help you understand what um, the performance figures are for different firewalls. Typically, when you're going to buy a new firewall, you're going to probably do some research, read the data sheets, and you're going to encounter a lot of performance figures like layer 3 throughput or stateful performance or VPN throughput, etc. So, in order for you to make a more informed decision, you, you want to make sure you understand um, number one, what you're looking for, and number two, if the performance numbers actually satisfy your business needs. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those numbers. One of the performance figures you're going to encounter uh, when reading a firewall datasheet is the layer 3 throughput. So, for example, let's assume that we're, going to, we're having, so for a particular firewall, the datasheet says that we have a 1 gigabit per second layer 3 throughput. Okay, that strictly means packet forwarding performance. So assuming that we have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, and we're doing inter-VLAN routing through the firewall, okay, so the firewall is doing the layer 3 routing, then we should expect a throughput of 1 gigabit per second. Okay, so why do you care? Well, if you're buying a firewall, okay, to protect your network from the public internet, but you're also using this firewall, firewall as your layer 3 device, for your network and you're going to be doing the layer 3 uh, routing functionality on this firewall then you want to look closely at this figure because for uh, inter -VLAN routing in this case or what is called also east-west traffic on your LAN okay, you want to make sure that your firewall is not a bottleneck for uh, the layer 3 traffic. Another common uh, performance figure in datasheets is the stateful performance. So let's assume that uh, the data sheet says that we have 500 megabits per second. Five hundred megabits per second of stateful performance. What does this mean? Well, imagine that we have this client on the left and we're accessing a website. Okay, www. We each we're gonna issue the HTTP GET, it's gonna traverse the firewall. Now we're gonna get to maybe Facebook.com, then the, the the web server replies, okay, and then the 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 website is displayed on the client's browser. Now the firewall is listening since it is a stateful firewall, okay, it's performing what is called traffic inspection. It's listening to the egress and ingress flows. So the firewall knows that there is an egress flow coming from the client going to the to the web server, and then the firewall can see this incoming matching. Uh, ingress flow, okay, it matches the egress flow. For instance, the firewall will allow that incoming connection. Now, when, if we have, let's say, an attacker here on the internet and it's trying to pump ingress traffic through the firewall, then the firewall will listen to this ingress flow and since we don't have a matching egress flow, the firewall will simply block that unrequested um, ingress uh, connection. Okay, So essentially this is what stateful, um, what a stateful firewall does. Okay, It listens to, to the flows okay? and for all, all those uh, matching uh, flows then the firewall allows the ingress flows or for those matching egress flows it will allow the ingress flows and the sessions will be established like in the first case and there's and then for those uh, unrequested uh, ingress flows, the firewall will uh, basically block those, connection, those connections. We can also assume that we're doing NAT here, network address translation. Okay. So when you see a stateful performance of 500 megabits per second for a firewall, basically this is what, what it means. Okay. Typically, okay, uh, you want to have a stateful performance of at least the same speed of the line, internet line that you are leasing here. 
okay? So for instance, if you're leasing a, let's say, one gigabit per second internet line from your uh, service provider, and you have a stable performance of 500 megabits per second, then you're going to be underutilizing your internet pipe, okay? So you want to make sure that you at least have the same performance, stable performance, um, the same or higher um, compared to the speed of your um, of your internet uh, line. The third case is a VPN, or the third performance figure is a VPN throughput. Okay, and you're going to see actually that the VPN uh, numbers are actually the lowest numbers uh, in the firewall data sheets. So let's assume that we have a 100 megabit per second VPN performance. Now, why is this? Well, for a tunnel to be established between two firewalls, okay, two things need to happen. First, we need to have to add extra encapsulation, okay, or add extra headers to the packets to tunnel them, and also we need to encrypt that traffic or encrypt that uh, tunnel in order to protect it from people sniffing those packets in the in the public cloud. Now, when we if you're buying a firewall. Okay, or, 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 or various firewalls to interconnect two sites or many more sites using a VPN, then you want to look at this, at this uh, figure closely, at the VPN performance numbers. Okay, because um, if you have a firewall, some people might read, oh, just performance of 500 megabits per second, and then they see that the, uh, the, the, the tunnel performance or the VPN performance is 50, 50 megabits per second. Well, because they probably didn't read properly the performance figures for the VPN. Okay, You also want to look at the encryption algorithm that we're using or that uh, the vendor is advertising for a particular performance. Okay, In most situations, uh, you know, we use AES-256, okay? So you want to make sure that for AES-256, we have a VPN, you have actually the desired VPN performance. And lastly, to make our lives way, way um, easier, vendors actually specify performance figures for all security features. Okay, so sometimes they might say, okay, you have 250 megabits per second, with all security features, and that means layer three throughput, stateful VPN, intrusion detection and, and, and prevention, malware protection, web filtering, etc. Okay, so if you're gonna buy a firewall, you're gonna turn on every single feature uh, on that firewall, then you wanna look at these performance uh, figures. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.